recall training is, is actually one of the easiest commands to train when you get it right. Now, here's the big tip. Again, I don't use a lot of food, but I do use it for recall training. Now, when you use the food, same as with potty training, you have to use amazing food. It's no good using the same biscuits that they use. You know, they just ate half a bowl full of biscuits. And now you're gonna give them one biscuit for basically coming when you, when they, when you call them. Hi there, Doggy Dan here with another edition of Pup Dates. And today I wanted to chat and share with you some of my knowledge about recall training. I've got an amazing recall with my dogs. They're somewhere here in the woods with me. And basically I just call them or I can use my whistle and they will come running. And there's a reason why. It's I understand how to make that connection with the dog which means when you hear your, my voice or when you hear the whistle come running and something amazing is gonna happen. Now, there's a strong connection, I believe, with training dogs to come when called and gambling. And not many people know it. And I wanna share that with you today because recall training, getting your dog to come when they hear their name is one of the most, probably, it is the most important command, really. Because if you think about it, whether you've got a dog who's chasing birds or chasing other dogs or not coming when called or jumping up on other people, if you've got an amazing recall and your dog comes to you, you can put a lead on them and pretty much stop all of that. The bird chasing, the being aggressive to other dogs, you can walk away and they can't jump on other people if they're coming running towards you. So recall training is, is actually one of the easiest commands to train when you get it right. Now, here's the big tip. Again, I don't use a lot of food, but I do use it for recall training. Now, when you use the food, same as with potty training, you have to use amazing food. It's no good using the same biscuits that they use. You know, they just ate half a bowl full of biscuits. And now you're gonna give them one biscuit for basically coming when you, when they, when you call them. You have to use amazing stuff. So I'm talking about chicken, cheese, and bacon is what I'd suggest. They're, they're, they're some of the most common, popular treats for dogs. What I would suggest you do though, is here's the key bit. The same as the reason people gamble whether it's the pokies or whether it's going to a casino, is because the rewards are random. So you get no reward, no reward, you're losing money, you don't get any wins, then you get a little reward, then you get no reward, then you get a little bigger reward, then you get no reward, no, and then you get a jackpot. That's how you wanna think of it with your dog's treats. You don't wanna just give them one biscuit, one biscuit, one biscuit. Because if the pokey machines, you know, the fruit machines, if the fruit machines, the pokies, paid out every single time you put a dollar in you got one dollar five back put a dollar in you get one dollar and five cents back nobody would play them the reason being it's boring and the excitement comes from knowing you may get the jackpot and it's the same with the dogs you know literally when i go for a walk with my dogs i get the bag of of chicken cheese and bacon i mean i don't always use that don't get me wrong but i get the bag i sometimes put it down by my dog's nose and i go smell that that's what we're playing for today. And my dogs literally look at me and go, whoa, dude, seriously, is that what we're, I'm in, I'm in, I'm listening, I'm all ears. And then all I have to do is shout their name and they come running, I might give them a small bit. They come running, I get a small bit. They come running, sometimes I give them a pat and a cuddle and then I'll give them the jackpot the next time. But they know the jackpots are coming. Now, a couple of huge tips. You can't overuse the recall with your dog. You can't be always calling your dogs. That's probably the biggest mistake. People think that the dogs are like, you know, remote control cars. You just shout or press the button and the dog's gonna come running. Well, after a few, unless you're rewarding your dog every time, which, you know, you need to be careful of that because your dogs will get fat. But, so you don't wanna overuse, you don't wanna abuse this command. However, you also can't use your dog's name for telling your dog off. So that's one of the other big mistakes. We use our dog's names. You know, we say, Fido, stop that. Don't do that, Fido, Fido, knock it off. Fido, stop it, and then we shout, Fido. And the dog goes, oh dear, I've done something wrong. So you need to keep your dog's name as a positive thing. You can't go around using it as a negative most of the time and then expecting your dog to come running when you use it as a recall. Now, one last suggestion. When I call my dogs, I always give them a reward. Not a food reward, it'll be a pat, a cuddle, I'll throw the ball, I'll, you know, or give them a little treat. But I have something called a bomb-proof recall. I'll share more about this later, another time. But the bomb-proof recall is when I use a whistle. And when I use the whistle, I reward my dogs every single time. So if I blow my whistle, my dogs will come like rockets because they know they're going to get this amazing treat. And I suggest you train the whistle or a different sound for your dog so that if you ever need it to them to come running, like have to 100%, you've got a way of doing that. 
Alrighty, so hopefully that's given you some understanding of what's going on with the recall. It's the most important command. It's pretty simple. Use treats. You can fade them out if you want, but I suggest you keep one sort of recall sound or the whistle for when you really do need your dogs to come. And of course, if your dogs turn up kind of late, don't tell them off, but don't give them a reward. Just kind of go, hey, what time do you call this? That's no good. No treat for that. And they'll get it. They'll know that they get the reward, the amazing chicken, cheese, and bacon when they come first time when you, when you call them. Alrighty, I'm Doggy Dan. That's another edition of Pup Dates. I hope that's been helpful. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna blow my whistle and see if my dogs come running. Alrighty, take care guys, bye bye. Good boy, come on. Mosey. Mosey, come on. Good boy. Hello, lovey.